Okay, graph the equations. This is a really easy thing. I have x, but where's y? It's not in here. That means y can be anything you want. Use 1, 2, 3. Now, x equals negative 4. That means throughout this table, x is constantly negative 4. So I go left 4, up 1. So that's negative 4 with 1. Negative 4, 2. I go left 4, up 2. That's negative 4, 2. Negative 4, 3. I go left 4, up 3. Okay, so it's a line. It goes straight vertical. y equals 6. y is there, but x is not. Okay, so if x is not there, x can be anything I want. We'll go 1, 2, 3. y is constantly 6. So I go 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 1, 6. 2, 6. I go right 2, up 6. 3, 6. I go right 3, up 6. And there's my line. It is straight across this time. Okay, the next problem. Y is not even here, so the letter that's not even here, we're going to call that 1, 2, 3, and then X is constantly at negative 3. So left 3 up 1, left 3 up 2, and then left 3, up 3. Okay, and then my other one. X isn't even in here, so 1, 2, 3, and Y is constantly at 14. Now, 14 is over 9, so I need to go by 2's on the Y, but the X I'll still go by 1's. So 1, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. So that's 1, 14. 2, 14. I go 2, 14. 3, 14. I go 3, 14. Straight across, straight horizontal. Okay, now pause the video and do numbers 1 and 2. And that's all you have on that one. And continue when you're done. Okay, now let's continue. A group of friends go bowling. The cost for each game is $5.30. The cost to rent shoes is $2.50 per person. The total cost is $55.20. If three people went bowling, how many games did they play? So we're finding the games that they played. So games... Now, you've also got person or people and dollars. So what that is is three units. So in algebra, when we have three units, what I like to do is make a table. Here's how the table is set up. Today, you're just going to practice putting the numbers in the table and then writing an equation out of it. It's really easy to do. Okay? So first thing we do is... What, what's the first thing we do is we look at these four boxes here, those four. And I'm going to fill in known information. It says games, persons, and total. And then how many, the money for a single, and the money for total. So, let's look at these two. How much money is it for one game? five dollars and thirty cents how much money is it for one person it's 250 how many games did we play I don't know that's the answer to the problem so X and then how many people did we have we had three okay so what I'm gonna do then is multiply X times 530 is 530 X and 3 times 250 is going to be 7. 750, sorry. Now, there's got to be a total money amount, of, and there is $55.20. So now all I need to do is write 5.30x plus 7.50 equals 
equals 5520. So we minus 750. So 5.30 times x. So 55.20 minus 7.50 is $47.70. Now as far as how are you going to set up the table, well, we'll worry about that here in a second. 47.7 divided by 5.30 is 9. Okay, next problem. A soccer coach is purchasing soccer balls and bags. A coach buys seven soccer balls and three bags and pays a total of $106.80. If the soccer balls cost $12.99, how much do bags cost? So I'm finding how much the bags cost. So I've got balls and bags are my two primary units. So across the top I put balls, bags, total. Then I write how many. And then my third unit's money, so money for a single and money for total. So we look at these first four boxes. How much does one ball cost? $12.99. How much does one bag cost? I don't know, that's what I'm trying to find. Bag. Bagels, what the heck does that mean? Bag cost. So X. How many balls are there? There's seven. How many bags are there? There's three. So seven times 12.99 gives me 90.93. And that's 3x. And then here my total cost is $106.80. So my equation is 90.93 plus 3x equals 106.80. So I've got 3 times x. First I need to subtract 90, 93 from both sides. So I have 3 times x. 106.80 minus 90.93 is going to be 15.87. And I divide 1587 by 3. That will give me my answer. $5.29. Is the cost of a bag. Okay, next. Noah and Kate are shopping for new guitar strings in a music store. They buy four packages of strings and one music book. The book costs sixteen dollars. Total cost is seventy-two dollars. Calculate the cost of one pack of strings. So I find the cost of strings. So strings, books, and dollars. That's three units. So strings, books, total, how many? Then I write single and total, and I put that dollar sign above each one of these. Okay, so for a single string, how much does a string cost? The money for a single string. I don't know that. That's the answer to the problem. Okay, books, they cost $16 just for one. How many strings? We bought four of those and one music book. So it's going to be 4x, and that's 16, and then 72. So 4x plus 16 equals 72. So I take away 16. 4 times x equals 56. I divide by 4, and that's 14. So the cost of strings was $14. You sell necklaces and bracelets at a craft fair. Each necklace will be sold for $5, while each bracelet will be sold for $7. You want to make $445 at the end of the day. 40 necklaces are sold. How many bracelets do you need to sell to meet your goals? So I want to know the number of bracelets. Necklaces, bracelets, and money are my three units. So necklaces, bracelets, and total, how many and then I put my dollars for single, dollars for total. Okay, the money for a single necklace is going to be $5. If I buy one bracelet, it's $7. Now, how many necklaces did we buy? 40, or sell, I should say. 
and the bracelets I don't know so that's X so that's going to be 200 7 X and then your total cost is going to be 445 200 plus 7 times X equals 445 so I'm going to take away 200 so 7 times x equals 245, and then I divide by 7, that might be a decimal, I don't know. Okay, nope, it's not 35. Okay guys, it's real odd to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you next time.